our biggest joy really is in wishing the two of you a very blessed, not just wedding, but marriage and life. Krista, you're a beautiful woman with a beautiful soul. I can't even begin to thank you enough for all the memories we've already had together. The conversations we've had stick with me, and I often think back to when we were just friends and grew so close. The scariest thing I ever did was tell you I liked you, but it was the best thing I ever did. I knew there was a chance of it ruining our friendship, but I had to take that chance because I wanted you to be a bigger part of my life. I didn't know exactly where that conversation all those years ago would lead, but God had a plan and brought us exactly where we need to be. Yep. <laughs> so wonderful. Dear Kiernan, I remember when we became friends, I said, he's a great guy, any girl would be lucky to have him. When we became best friends, I said, we are so important to each other that I know we'll be at each other's weddings. I don't know if I'll be standing across from him or in the front row watching, but I'll be there. And then I said that as long as you're marrying someone who makes you happy, I would be happy for you. Right now, I'm holding my best friend's hand and I'm thanking God that today I am the blessed woman who gets to marry you. I know everyone talks about seeing the bride for the first time, but I'm excited to see my radiant groom and almost husband waiting for me at the altar. Hello. Hi. Hi there. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. You feeling good? Yeah. How are you? So it's been a uh, winding and pretty amazing, wondrous road that's brought us all here together today to confirm, to celebrate as their community, the love of Kiernan and Krista. Krista, you are one of the most giving people I have ever met. It could be a regular Tuesday afternoon, no special occasion, and you will have bought me a 12-piece nugget meal from Chick-fil-A, made me a nice latte, and bought me three outfits from Bargain Bins. Even this past year with working two jobs, finishing college online, and planning a wedding, you still managed to always make time for Kiernan, for me, and your other people that you love. Kiernan, when I reflect on your life as seen through my eyes, I noticed there have been several life waypoints that have marked monumental changes. There was a Kentucky season where you first learned what life was and how much joy there is in it. And that was followed by a Minnesota season where you had to additionally rebound from life's challenges and trust the path the Lord had you on. Then there was the confusing and painful chapter before we knew why you were so sick. But that was followed by a challenging and hopeful season of healing and strength following a diagnosis. I'm still in awe of how you use that difficult time to develop into a masterful musician. Thank you.